Hey Scorpios, welcome to your love reading. We will be doing the videos in order of most viewed. So we're starting with my lovely loyal Scorpios, of course. Welcome back guys. If you're new, welcome. Please remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get all the messages I post each month. Okay, blonde female. Scorpio, you wanting to change your hair? <laughs> Let's see what's going on. I'll leave information about what decks of cards I use in the description box, as well as how to contact me for personal readings. Okay, new love, Scorpio. Okay, you're looking for somebody new, huh? I feel like you found a new love for yourself. I feel like when Venus moved into your natal, uh, your natal Venus lined up with the transit in Venus, you started feeling good about yourself. Let's see. Ooh, a love triangle. Don't do it, Scorpio. It's not worth it. <laughs> Just tell them, right? Dark male, blonde female. And another two came out here. I didn't want all these coming out, so... You might just be enjoying your freedom here with this, like I said, a newfound love for yourself, I'm feeling more than anything. You just know, like me, your fellow Scorpion, that love triangles just aren't worth it, right? Um, there's somebody new coming in. There's two people who want you, Scorpio, here. Um, this Ice King, it could be if you've had some sort of... Um, like twin flame connection, very strong soulmate connection. This person keeps returning to your life. This is going to be nothing new. Um, it's like they never settle. They always enjoy their freedom here. So they, it feels like, you know, a Leo with this um, blonde female here. I just see her more like a lion. And there's a lion in this picture too. Um, it feels like this Leo that keeps returning, but loves their freedom so much here. Um, but I feel like there's somebody... Um, new coming into the picture which makes you the one who has two people after you now um this i feel i don't feel like you're dating both um actually it might be deciding between both um but both of these people want you i feel like one is a very strong soulmate though that you know loves their freedom so when they feel a new energy coming towards you, because they're a soulmate, they feel that too, so they come back, right? It's like never being able to forget each other or, you know, that sort of connection that you just hold on to each other. It can be toxic, um, you know, if you keep letting, coming into each other's life without really finishing the business to be able to move on um, or even be together, um, it can be quite toxic for you. So every time a new love comes into your life, you know, it never quite goes right because this person always keeps coming back. So it's like either a person you'll, you'll never forget or they'll never forget you. Something like that is going on here. Let's see. Let me grab a deck of cards for you guys and see what's happening, Scorpio. Like I said, all the information about the cards will be in the description box. Okay. <laughs> Of course, um, somebody from your past is returning to your life, Scorpio, the tower. Okay, only people I've had text me is an ex as well. And I'm a Scorpio, as you guys know, if you're usually on my channel, um, I'm very heavy Scorpio in my chart. It's in the description box also. Um, yeah, they want to, without a new approach, it'll never work out with this person from your past. So you need a new approach to how you two keep coming together, what you allow between each other. Um, I feel like you should stand your ground, um, tell them, look, you can't have it both ways. I can't stay single. Yep, queen of wands there. It's that fiery energy, being able to use Mars energy for you as well, with it being a ruler of Scorpio here. I feel like you can get control of this situation um, by either putting your foot down, taking action. They Let me tell you something. This You may feel that this person doesn't see your worth, but they do. That's why they keep coming back and that's why they won't let go. Um, because they know how powerful you are. And look at this, a lion in the picture again. Could be another fire sign, of course, or any other sign. Um, we have air indicated here, but it just feels like um, you gaining your power back 
and every time you do, you might hand it over, maybe even unwillingly, to this person um, who you can't let go of or they can't let go of you. It's not that there isn't any love, other love out there for you. There is new love coming your way. But I feel with this unfinished business, there you go. It always seems like these false starts. So you get into relationships with other people. And this seems to either be your comforting person, like your safe ground, or they're that for, sorry, you're that for them. You're like their safety net. So they go out, enjoy their freedom, then come back. It doesn't sound good how I'm putting it, but it, it's really, I feel like there's this love between you both and maybe even an understanding, like an unwritten rule between you both that you'll always be there for each other. Um, so you always pull back to each other, but just remember, it keeps giving you this false new start in love. Um, how can you lay a foundation with somebody else when you have unfinished business with another person? The emperor, yeah, they're very set in their ways. Um, it's like teaching somebody that it's okay to cross your boundaries or they're teaching you, Scorpio, it's okay to cross their boundaries. So um, I feel like they have a battle with ego a lot. So definitely this could be a Scorpio for cross watchers here that um, the Scorpios might battle with ego a lot. Or, you know, like I said, there's a lot of fiery energy in here, but this is Mars uh, moving into Taurus. You either wanting to settle down with a traditional love, but also wanting some excitement. And this person may bring that excitement to you. It's like you can't stop it. They make your heart skip a beat. Um, the magician jumping out there, reversed. So again, it's saying, look, if you want something to start up in love, it is going to be very volatile at this time. Look at this passionate energy that we have going on. Um, even all red in the magician card here. Um... It, there's going to be delays in you making a foundation, starting love. I think I told Scorpios in the prediction video for 2021 that's already up on the channel that if there's going to be like karmic situations to sort out. Love life will be quite volatile. There'll be ups and downs and people headbutting and egos fighting each other here. Um, so there will be delays in the beginning of the year, but I feel like you work through this. It finally gives you a chance to close down this business forever and start a new foundation with that same person or move into a new love here. Because it seems like there's this foundation already with this person. It's just very shaky with the four of wands reversed. Um, like I said, it could be this going and back and forwards with each other, um, not letting go of each other, wanting each other, but not carrying it through, not doing the work. Um, so there will be delays with that magician reversed. Somebody's very set in their ways with the emperor there, and that's what's stopping things manifesting. It could be you, Scorpio. Like I said, accountability. If you know that you allow people to cross your boundaries, um, we got to put a stop to it, right? Uh, especially people do hardly ever see a Scorpio's worth. Um, this person does, but people, very few people see a Scorpio's worth until they're gone. Um, you know, and then when they're gone, they feel like, oh, they're being evil to me. It's not actually the case. They've put up with a lot before they go ahead and move forward, right? Um, they usually keep it to themselves. That's the problem. That's their ego. Um, that's your ego, Scorpio, that, you know, you feel like, okay, I'll do it by myself then. I can live alone. So a Scorpio can have the most intense love that they'll never let go of for you, but they'll let go of you, right? So just be aware of that if you're dealing with a Scorpio. They will love you forever, but eventually they'll let go if you're not coming through. It's like you two never really break up. It's somebody, it's somebody stays until they can't take anymore. Seven of Wands. So this is challenges. Needing to stand your ground, like I said, with that Queen of Wands energy. Really, really stand your ground here and say, look, time to sort this out once and for all. Don't be scared that you'll lose this person forever. You know, why wait for eventually? Time's only wasting here. So... 
you know, time waits for nobody. Go ahead, either speak your truth um, or keep pushing forward without this person. The next time they want to roll back around, tell them, no, thank you. It's been great knowing you, but I'm moving forward now, okay? Let me tell you something. Doesn't mean they won't come back. They will keep still keep trying, um, but they'll have to raise their vibrations every time they try, right? Because they'll just think, okay, this is what they've said before. They won't accept me back before. And then they do. We've trained somebody here to um, behave badly, if you like, um, what we will accept, right? And the things we accept like this will be the things that we regret. So stand your ground, especially if you do want this person or you do want this new love in your life. You've got to keep going and pushing through because um, there's going to be a lot of people with a lot of things to say, but you've got to stand your ground here. Um, Six of Swords reverse. Yeah, the road ahead ain't going to be smooth. This is going to be challenging. It's next to the Seven of Wands here. Um, but you've got to keep pushing here. Don't let negative thoughts creep in, okay? Um, or even arrogant thoughts, because that can lead you back up into ego, out of self-love, Scorpio. Especially if you've been doing the work and all this fiery energy for you guys. Um, it might make you sort of reacting to arguments, even maybe fights, <laughs> seven of wands there. Um, so I would definitely, if you're feeling rejected here with the four of wands, um, or this person makes you feel bored or lonely, even while you're in a relationship with them, you've got to stand your ground and say, it's not enough for me. I need to keep going. I need to keep it moving. Don't let any sort of negativity creep into your mind here. So it's even about a battle that's going on within yourself, right? Um, that can be the delays as well. It can be that even you're rejecting yourself here with negative thoughts. So low self-esteem. Oh, I've put on weight and I don't feel great. I'm not looking my best or something like that. Um, again, that could be ego. It doesn't mean that ego is a bad thing. Ego keeps us alive. It keeps us at the top of the food chain, right? Um, in fact, we could look at ego and say, that's what manifests things for me because that self-belief here, you know, there's a fine, seems to be a fine line here between that ego and self-belief and self-doubt that you have going on. It could be one minute you're up and believe in yourself. Next minute you're feeling down and have these negative thoughts in your mind. So just remember the strength card. It's about gardening in your mind as well, taming that inner beast. Okay. So it could be that, you know, if you're dealing with a Scorpio, they could be swearing that I'm fighting these demons, but it might be demons they've created. It's usually the case for all of us where we have to fight that inner battle here to come out. But if you've been waiting for an offer that you felt wasn't coming, I'm telling you, this person's coming, especially when you start talking to somebody else. So you might decide, okay, I'm going to take a new path, a new direction here um, with this Queen of Wands energy, Seven of Wands energy. You might feel, start to feel very determined in moving forward and past this connection altogether. Um, if you don't close it down, it will definitely come back around every time. But this seems to be good news on the way your ship's coming in. This is even travel and feeling excited for the future, making new plans here. Because somebody's made you feel sort of rejected. And look at this, this King of Wands. Um, King and Queen of Wands. You definitely at one point felt you're made for each other. Maybe you both got high egos. <laughs> And this is why you're both, it's very masculine energy. It's like two masculine energies um, fighting in each other here. So each other's ego gets in the way saying, I'm not going to give in. No, you give in. No, I'm not going to give in. I'll move on without you then. But you really want each other here. Um, so there's a lot going on with this fire energy. I think this is definitely seems to be um, somebody who has been in some sort of triangle. Um, new love's coming your way, but then we have this person from your past that, you know, can't seem to let you go. You can't, you can't seem to let them go. You can't seem to move on without them, with or without them, right? Five of wands now. So this is um, challenges and obstacles, the five of wands. It might be challenging that you guys, how you guys speak to each other or not being able to speak to each other because of all this pa uh, passionate energy. I'm going to tell you something, Scorpios. All this Mars energy and all this fiery energy that's around you, um, 
remember if you might be um frustrated is the best word i can put it so it could be coming out in arguments um just be aware of that also okay guys i don't i don't mean to be blunt but i want to be able to be able to help my fellow scorpions as always you know so if there's a lack of passion that four of cups, boredom, and this um, not getting some. You could start arguing with people if you are getting some. <laughs> um, then it, that might be what's going on with all this fiery energy. It's showing a lot of passion um, and compatibility. Uh, but it's like to two people butting heads because you could be so alike that it actually sort of is explosive right um there's not a lot of water here to calm it down as well um so yeah scorpios good luck guys